Yeah, it will take just a few minutes to get that put on there. And took care of it, what do you think? Yeah. Maybe not. Hey, hey, welcome back to the Handlebar Garden. Today, we're going to install Android Auto on my bike. Can we do that? I hope so. Stay tuned. All right, now I'll give you a little history on uh, Android Auto, or Android Auto and Harley Davidson. That's yeah. that'd be better. Uh, in 2019, uh, th this to put this on there, 2019 and up GTS boombox. Yeah. Well, in 2000, Android made a deal with with Harley Davidson and said, "Yep, we're gonna put it on the bike." come to the factory so starting in mid-year they started putting it so you'd already have it on there when you bought it of 2019 or of 2020? 2020 of 2020 okay. i'm sorry if i didn't explain so, that yeah and, and i bought mine in august of and 2020 I, and so I bought, it was yep and i got mine in may of 2020 well i never had amazon auto and or amazon android auto that's all right uh but so I never had it, so I didn't know the benefits, what what it even meant, you know, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, so I wasn't looking into it too much. Well, I bought a recently bought a new car a couple months ago. And I went to plug my phone in to charge it. And it pops up this Android Auto stuff. I'm like, well, okay, I'll try it. And then it pops up on the screen. And I'm like, huh. This is pretty cool because I'm, I'm using, you know, it. So that's when I started investigating, putting it on the road line. Yeah. And uh, then here recently, uh, I done done that, of course. So that was that was my, my history. I done a lot of reading, a lot of studying, trying to figure out if this is something I want to do, blah, blah, blah. And, I mean, you can take it to the dealer and get this done. Some dealers charge. Some may not. I, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I decided to go ahead and do it myself. So so what did you have to do to do this? So the first thing you you got to do, <clears throat> uh, you got to have your little thumb drive or whatever people want to call it. Uh, have you one of them. This one was brand new. You can't have nothing on it. That's very important, by the way. Well, I don't know that if it had a bunch of stuff on it, but... Everything I saw said it had to be empty, so I'm not going to take no chance yeah. and do no junk and mess nothing up. So I would have something that was new. And then you go to, to Hard Davidson website and go to some software. And uh, I found that to be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, that was the, the probably the hardest thing about the whole ordeal was getting the software, finding it. And I went to the homepage, and I was digging around, and I was like, ah. So I went back to Google and typed in Harley Davidson software, and then the first one it said Harley Davidson software, and it's true Harley Davidson site. Make sure you go into the to their site, go in there, and then it lists all the software you got for you can upgrade your maps and and your you, you, this is for GTS Boombox 19 and up. So if you don't have Android Auto on there, uh. This is how you how you do that. So and and you find it on there, you download it on your computer, and then you and then it comes in as a zip file. It don't yeah. take just second or a few seconds and it's done. You unzip it, then you unzip it, then you copy it over to your thumb drive, and then then we'll here just in a minute we'll go ahead and install it on on Mike's bike. I've had it on mine for a ah, couple weeks. Couple now. weeks now, just trying it out, seeing what it how I liked it and whatnot. I told him everything that I thought about it and we'll get into that here just in a few minutes. And uh so I told him, hey, I think you ought to try it. So I'm gonna try it. So he's gonna try it too. 
Uh, so we'll get into that. What do you think? Right now? Right now. Right now. All right, well, once you plug the flash drive into your port here, turn it over on the accessory. Give it a second for everything to come up. Okay, and this comes on. Just accept all your stuff there. And if you'll wait just a minute, it's going to pop up and it's going to tell you software installed. No media found. And you just hit OK. And then it'll do its thing. Usually it takes, I, I don't remember how long it was, but it wasn't too awful long. And then, you know, that was what you've got. You just hit install now. There you go. And it's restarting and updating the software. And that, I don't remember how long that took. It wasn't super awful long. But, uh, I, it's probably four or five minutes, I think. It took it a while. And it kind of, I was kind of getting nervous. So where it pops up. And just downloading the packages. And I could have said that earlier. There's six of them. So as this is doing this, uh, we can kind of talk a little bit about some of the benefits. Uh, uh, or, or I'll, I'll say benefits, some of the things I like. And then we can see Mike through this mirror right here. Look at there. There he is. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, some of the benefits you've got to this is uh, real-time maps. Real-time. Yeah, you don't have that on the bike itself. Yeah, with, with the bike. You know, roads are updated. I read a thing how many thousands of times how thousands of roads are updated every day and then you you think about that and you've got i've got the same software on there for over a year so and and the thing of it is too with when you're using the maps on your android it's giving you traffic alerts showing you when there's a slowdown and it'll actually get you around them that's one of the things i like about it and uh now of course uh I mean, you can Bluetooth. Now, here's what I've noticed, too. If you go somewhere and you're out of signal, if you run out of signal, you're, like, I, I listen to Amazon Music all the time. The, the signal went away. The music goes away. But your maps stay up. So yeah, that's, so that's yeah. a good thing. I don't know if they would if you backed out of them and go back. I didn't try that, but I knew they know they stay up, so. And then when you got got service later on, everything come back up via Bluetooth. Then you can't get on a true Android Auto unless you unplug your phone and plug it back up. So that's a minor thing I didn't care that much about. But overall, uh, I've loved it. Uh, so you have to have your phone tethered to the bike while it's this is yes yeah, to the bike so you can't just bluetooth it and still have all right. that yeah i've got my my of course mine will be bluetooth to it and plugged up to it so it's always charging you know uh well that'd be good if you're on a long trip yep especially if you're going to be gone for a couple of days then while you're riding your phone's being charged yep so uh <laughs> try to, and and i noticed this when you uh when everything boots back up your stereo, like your uh, bass and treble controls, will be neutral again, back to like their stock sort of. Now all my presets were still there, but that went to stock. And also, when uh, on the update where it says uh, miles since last service went to zero, like I'd never done a service on the bike, so. That was the only two things that I seen that that it changed, and and of course when you do the service, then that'll start back over, reset that anyway. So all was good there. 
because most everybody does it their service in 5,000 mile increments anyway so yeah. I'm not really too concerned about that so uh, and I noticed uh, too this package six took the longest so uh, we may uh, kind of edit cut a little of this out I don't know and because uh, I don't want to bore you to death with uh, just watching it move but uh, now you can imagine the first time I ever done it I was sitting here I was by myself and I was kind of I was going to film it and I can't remember why I didn't but I told my wife I said and then then I didn't I said no I'm just going to do it that way if I jack it up I ain't got I ain't got evidence <laughs> so or something I can't remember how I put it but uh, uh, really I mean there's nothing to it the, the hardest part is the weight if you ask me And the radio will start momentarily. So everything was successful. And then it'll reboot. And if you hear music, or in this case, be over inside, you hear static. Yeah, you're doing good. Static. Yep, and I hear static. static. So we're doing good. So everything's good. You accept, accept that. And you're right back to where you was. Now if you would, go over to your... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, information. Uh, yeah, we need to unplug. Yeah, that. we need uh, we need to shut the bike off. Sorry, and then you unplug it. About got ahead of himself. So there you go. Now now you can turn it back on. Got a little ahead of myself. Go to your info right there. Yeah. Now talk a little bit about your last uh, since distance since last service. See, it says eighty three seventy eight. Yeah. So that's how many total miles was on the bike. Yeah. So, total miles. So it wiped it out. So but that's the only thing I've noticed. Uh, and then, like I said, the treble and stuff like that changed. So, uh, but otherwise, that's how it's done. Hey, you can actually see Mike through there too now. So. We'll get back with you right here just in a minute. All right, Mike plugged his phone up by your cable here. So it's charging and it'll tell you, welcome to Android Auto. And then on your main screen right there, this symbol right there is Android Auto. You just go over to it. Then you gotta click these next, next, next. Turn on your Bluetooth, it's already on. And you gotta do your permissions and all that. So there we go. Welcome. And we're just gonna hit OK for right now. And then it comes on. And there's your Android Auto. Your maps and, and you can still use your and the maps the first your, thing that comes up. It'll uh let me find it here, your little thumb thing here. And that's, that's what controls all that. Same way it is on the, the bike. Uh, we'll just go to maps first. Now, and, now, it should pick up in here. Yep, right there it is. So, we're good there. And then, uh, you can uh, try to change some settings, whatnot, to everything there and all that and then go right back out of there and I'm in Amazon Music uh, a little of everything I noticed your messenger and all that won't let you go into now I was sitting here I don't know if you want to go into it or not eh, we'll not go into it right now but uh, Mike might have some secrets we don't want to know about <laughs> But anyway, that's that's uh, pretty much uh, pretty much it. And you can go to your YouTube music, Amazon music, whatnot, and uh, play away. So, and you'll notice right here up there in the left corner is your time, and it tells you your battery percentage and your signal percentage, all that. He's got no cell signal inside this in the garden. 
inside here he will outside and if you want to go back to your maps it, it'll leave little tags down here at the bottom when you do your amazon music for the first time then it'll start showing tags down here of that so yeah it's pretty cool hope some way this has helped you out and uh Hopefully, anyway, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Have any questions, comments, uh, please let us know, and uh, we'll answer them the best way we can. Be sure to like, subscribe to our channel. It's notification bell. Notification bell, and we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching.